If the raw metrics in your Data Studio report aren't giving you the insights that you're looking for, adding a calculated field might be the solution. I'm Amy Hebden with Paid Search Magic, and in this video, we're going to take a look at calculated fields, what they are, where you use them, and how to edit them. So we are looking here at a Data Studio report that's kind of a work in progress to uh, track internal pacing of spend. So we've got a lot of different ways we can be looking at the data. We've got daily by platform. We've got, you know, how are the individual platforms meeting their goal? But what I don't have yet is how are we doing overall meeting the goal? Are we hitting our target or not? I can see from the month to date target and the total cost that there is a difference here, but off the top of my head, I don't know how much of a difference there is. I'd have to do that math. I'd rather have the report do that math for me. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to add a field, but there's no available field that I have that I can just drag in that's going to tell me what the difference is, um, what percentage I am of my target of my costs. So I'm going to create a new field, which I will do by going down to the bottom of this panel, hit create a new field, and I'm just going to move this up so you can see it. So I'm going to call the field name um, percent of total, of, I'll just call it percent of spend goal or target. Um, and how I'm going to calculate that is it's go I'm going to use the fields that I already have. So my available fields are right in here. And I'm just going to say month to date target divided by total cost. It automatically pulls that up. I'm going to hit save. I'm going to hit done. So now I've got that percent of spend goal right here in my list of available fields. I'm going to drag it over to my metrics. And I can see <laughs> that I calculated it backwards, which is awesome um, because I can't actually go in here and make changes to that. If I try to click on it, I don't get anything. So I'm going to look at the way how we're going to make an edit. So I'll go back into create new field. I'm going to go to all my fields. And you can see here that all my calculated fields have a little function box next to them. And that's where I'm going to click in where I can actually edit it. So. I'm going to take the total cost divided by the month to date target. I will hit update. Done. And let's see if this gives me what I'm looking for. Okay, so my total cost is 80.85 of the monthly target. Now, if I wanted to change this to a percentage, I'm just going to hit the little pencil, type from number to numeric, and then I can just go to percent. There we go. So there's a little ways to go. It's not 100% pacing, but this tells me exactly where I'm at and what I need to do next. Probably need to be spending a little bit more in order to hit my target. Now, this is just a very basic 101 level calculated field. There's a lot of ways um, that you can take advantage of it. But just to give you uh, kind of a high level of when it comes in handy, uh, kind of all the time, um, especially when we're trying to compare metrics to each other and how they're doing, we can always use a calculated field to help us out with that. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have questions or would like to see more, if you have requests for different kinds of videos, please post them in the comments below and be sure to subscribe for more videos about how you can make better reports and dashboards using Data Studio. Thanks.